Rough day on Wall Street. Oil prices plummeting. Stocks keep falling as the virus continues to spread. There's a live look at the Dow. We were off more than that earlier. I want to bring in David Asman, host of Bulls and Bears, Fox Business Network. Hello to you, my friend. Yeah, we're only off yeah. 1,800 points you, right now. You said something to me walking in the studio. 100 million Americans have some portion of money invested in the market. It's called a defined contribution million. plan. Most people know it as a 401k or an IRA, an individual retirement account. More money is actually in individual individual retirement accounts, about $10 trillion in that versus about $5.9 trillion in 401ks. But Americans are invested in this economy, and a lot of them are worried about what's happening with the stock market. They, they look at it right now tumbling. Uh, by the way, this is an anniversary. March 9, 2009, 11 years ago today, was the beginning of the bull market. That was the low point during the financial crisis. We have come up every year since. This day today, ironically, on the anniversary of the bull market, may be the end of the bull market. We're only about 350 points away right now if it continues to go down. Uh, from a 20% correction of the market, which is considered a beginning of a bear market. So a lot of people are concerned, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't be taking their money out of their accounts right now if, if what they have is an IRA or a 401k, and I'll tell you why. Because basically it's the last bit of stuff that you have in your retirement account that you reach. And time is your friend. If you're holding stocks over a long period of time, there's no other asset that does better than the stock market. And considering that it's the last thing you touch if you are retired, if you're already dipping into it, it's too late. If you've got a few years uh, before you begin to dip in it, leave it there, leave it untouched because over time it always improves and I'm talking about a five-year trend a ten-year trend definitely even a five-year trend is your friend and it may well be that this is only a six month or one year uh, down market if we enter into bear territory because you every time we've been through one of these viruses before after six months we come out the stock market is ahead of where I, it I think it's excellent advice you're given here um, you're, you're basically saying don't panic well, don't uh -huh. absolutely you don't panic. The, but the, but the that's people. a hard thing to do when you look at this and you think about your retirement money is in there. Just remember, and look, you look at it, your timeline. The worst mistakes invariably are made when people do something with their market, with their with their stocks, on the basis of a panic buy or sell. You don't you don't do either thing. If you feel panicky, then just turn off the channel and wait. As long as you can afford to wait for six months to a year, you'll be okay. okay. A couple concerns here because you don't know what happens with the virus. Maybe. It's bigger than we think. Maybe it's not. That, that's one outstanding issue. The other is the world economy. It's slowing right. down. You could probably forecast that. And what I saw from Israel last hour was stunning to me. Uh, they're saying that anyone who travels into the country of Israel will go into a 14-day quarantine. Everyone. If other countries start doing that, there is a pile-on effect of this global economy going slower than Well, the question is, how do you do business? Uh, we, we went through some of this after 9-11, when we realized that we weren't going to be able to conference as much as we can in person. We yeah. had to, That's when teleconferencing really took off like wildfire. Now it's going to be even more so. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that you have to be there for. If, 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 in fact, we have quarantines of factories, of office buildings, even this office building, who knows? Yeah. We may be quarantined here. I mean, uh, what, what happens to to the way we do business in America if, in fact, this quarantine goes office-wide and factory-wide and everything. I don't think we're going to go mm -hmm. there, but if that happens, it's good. our economy, the world economy, is going to take a hit. And remember, the Europeans were close to a recession before the virus chaos. Fair point. They're much closer to one now. I was telling the guys here in studio, I went to a, an NBA game at Madison Square Garden on Friday night with 15,000 people, and nothing happened. Hey, I just came back from Miami, Bill. I was and down nothing happened. vacationing for my anniversary in Miami. Miami, the plane was full. Nobody seemed to be particularly care. In fact, I, I've heard that planes may be one of the safest places because everybody is washing down every At inch of moment. those planes. So nice to see you, David. Fifty we'll minutes away okay. from the we'll close. We'll get through this. Nice to see you, David. Asbin, see you. And welcome back. From Thank you vacation. so much. You bet.